Hello, as you may know, Watson Noise Catalog brings a nice data mark that is automatically populated by Watson Noise Catalog. And on top of that, that data mark that is kept in a relational database, in our case in a DB2, it could be also be a Postgres, um, uh, we can build on top of the data mark a nice dashboard and report. And we have done this using Cognos Analytics, we have built a dashboard and report that consume the information for the data mark in a nice way. So I'm going to show you a quick demo. So I log in in my dashboard. The dashboard we have built will appear. Let me put you in full screen. And I have different tabs with different governance and quality information. In the first one, I have a, a quick overview with the number of governance artifacts, OK, and the number of each of the artifact business time data classes. Also, I have the number of catalogs with the assets in each in the catalogs or the number of projects with the asset in the project register. Okay. Here, if I click in detail, it will jump to the tool. I will show you later to go to the uh, business term, to the catalogs, to the project. The second tab, I have uh, a little bit more information about governance. This is a governance overview with the number of governance artifacts, number of categories, and how many different governance artifacts we have. Here in this graphic, we can filter, for example, if I filter here by classes, it's going to show me when that classes were, when the data classes were created. So I have here in the, uh, in this, this date, uh, it was created uh, 165. This date. So, so I can uh, filter by the, the, the different governance artifacts and see the creation date. Okay, if I jump to the next tab, I have more information on governance. Here's the name of the different types of artifacts. Hey, click here in classification. This is the four classification. If I go to the data classes, I have the different data classes here uh, with uh, the number of artifacts here. Um, also, I can jump here if I click, if I want to see for some of the detail and go into the cloud path for data. If I click here in business term detail, it will jump. OK, we'll open another tab. It will jump to the business term inside even the cloud path for data. OK, so we can see the high level or go to if I want to change something. If I go to the next tab, I have data catalogs information with the with the number of catalogs uh, we have here. Uh, uh, so we have four catalogs and I can filter if I want to see, for example, the default catalogs. I click here, I see the user that belongs to that, the different of asset this catalog contains and the creation date of the other. OK, with the user. The same for projects. If I jump to project here, I have the, the number of projects. I can put in the, the, the filter. So I have eight projects. I can filter for any of these projects. Click here in transformation. It gives me the user of that project, the number of assets in that project, and the creation date. OK, the same. And then I have in the next tab quality information. This is the quality overview uh, information of the, of the system with the catalogs and the project. If I click in one of the uh, catalogs, I will see the average quality score, okay, with the different quality KPIs for that catalog. So I can easily filter and see the quality overview. And then we got in more detail in quality data asset. This is for tables and, and files. This is the different data asset I have with the data as quality information, with the average quality score, okay, with the different quality KPIs and the users, okay. And then I jump from the data asset quality to the column level. So here I have information about the quality at column level. So here it will, it will show me uh, a dashboard with the information about uh, columns in my, in my system. Uh, I have different uh, views. This is the, the uh, different, the top columns with, uh, with uh, errors in that. In that columns, I can filter by data asset, I can filter by catalog of projects. And here I have more information at quality column level that I can show you uh, with these different tabs. If I, if I filter, I can, I can eliminate filter and I can filter by any project. If I choose a catalog or project, it will show me the different. I have the same four uh, quality columns with a different view. This is a list of data asset and asset column I have from the, if I choose customer, it will show me with some of the 
uh, KP actually has error, it has an error will appear empty, okay, but uh, with different information about that asset, as it's called. Here uh, in this other tab, I have um, a historical quality. So when I have what the data mark keeps is historical information, so I can see what was the quality over the time for different data assets of the filter here. Okay, and the last one, the last tab, we have some information about quality rules created. So also I can choose by project and it will show me the quality rules. And here I have my dimension. What was the, the, the quality rule definition? Okay, I have the quality rule which column affects and the dimension it was, it was applied. And also I can filter also by project. Okay, so this is a high level overview. You can play with it, you can install it and all the information in, to install it, we are, we are putting in a, in a GitHub that you can, you can install it in your own uh, platform for data platform and enjoy it.